U.S. taxpayers and our allies are getting stuck with a new, more than $400 million cost overrun on the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. It's the latest in a long list of disappointments involving the jet. Mike Gooding tells us exasperated lawmakers made their displeasure clear. The status quo is unaffordable, it is unacceptable, and it will not continue. The $444 million upgrade to the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter's power and memory represents a 63 percent increase over original projections. It's not news lawmakers wanted to hear. The program's over budget. It fails to deliver on promised capabilities. And its mission capability rates do not even begin to meet the service thresholds. The Government Accountability Office in a new report out Thursday said enhanced attention and oversight of the program are needed. And it is taking 70 percent longer than planned to repair key engine components. By 2024, one in eight F-35s will be grounded for lack of engines, growing to over 40 percent by 2030. House Armed Services Readiness and Tactical Air Subcommittee members expressed alarm. DOD and industry must work to resolve over 800 deficiencies, which impact performance and safety. But if this program continues to fail, we may need to invest in other more affordable programs. The F-35's builders promise change. We recognize that affordability is the most pressing challenge facing the program, and we are committed, committed to reductions. The Pentagon's most expensive weapons system ever will end up costing $1.7 trillion over the lifetime of the program. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Just last month, the House Armed Services Committee chairman called the F-35 program a rat hole.